Hi guys, this is Mel from That's My MO, as in That's My My Name, Olivia. If you like what I do, please subscribe, please like, and please share. Thank you, and as always, have a good day, good night, good evening, whenever you are. Hey everyone! So today, I'm going to attempt to show you just how dusty these birds can be. This is an African Grey, in this case a Tim African Grey. There also are Congo African Grey, which, which are a little bit bigger. And he is a Moroccan cockatoo, which is also one of the bigger ones of the cockatoo family. These two happen to be super powdery or dusty. Um, their powder is produced by their feathers. Part of the feathers break off as they move around and shake and fly. And so that's when they go through the mold, they get new feathers. And that's why sometimes you see these, the cockatoos that look really shaggy after a while because some of the feathers have really broken off. This can happen. Um, so I'm just trying to attempt to show you just how dusty these uh, animals are, just to advise you about the dust qu uh, quantity actually, because I want to make sure before you go and rescue a cockatoo or an African Grey that that will happen. You will have dust everywhere or powder everywhere. Now if you're allergic, which you probably should try to see before you get the animal, you need to um, go maybe into a rescue or a store and just hang, hang around one of those birds for a while and see when they flap, if that bothers you at all, if that gives you tightness in the chest, breathing, if it makes you sneeze or if your eyes st start itching and watery, kind of almost um, as if you have an allergy to um, seasonal changes. Um, so then that would not be the bird for you because they are very dusty. Um, I'm trying to make sure that everybody knows before they get an, an animal like this because I don't want them to be given up. Milo, he, he was four when I got him, he's now five, and he was returned because the, the owner was allergic to his dust, which is very sad for him. I've had him for a year and it's taken me a very long time to, for him to get used to me because he most likely bonded with his former owner and he's slowly but surely getting used to me, but he's still very standoffish. He will bite sometimes. I, I, I try not to, I, I bear scars. <laughs> anyway, um, today we're talking about the powder and the dust. So uh, she's a tin the African Grey. They also produce dust, actually quite a lot too. She's still a baby though. She still uh, hasn't had her first molt yet. After she has her first molt, then she'll actually dust more than, than, um, than now. So um, yes, so Milo, um, I'm gonna try to attempt to tape it maybe somehow in the sunshine to show you when he shakes the dust just goes everywhere and um i'm gonna try to somehow show you illustrate it all right i hope that's okay uh i just wanted to make sure everybody knows they are very dusty very very dusty very a lot of powder <laughs> comes from i mean i simply pet him and then i i will put my hand on my shirt and it is, I have white streaks from all the powder on my hands. I will also show you that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm? Can I shake? What? There it is. You gonna shake? Shake. 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 Hmm? You gonna shake? <coughs> you gonna shake? Are you gonna shake? It's a good boy. <sighs> yeah. Shake. 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 It's a good boy. Shake. You gonna shake? Shake. You gonna shake? Shake. Shake. You gonna shake? You gonna shake? Okay, so when I give him a good pet, 
good pet underneath and on his wings and I know it doesn't show up unfortunately I tried but give him a good pet give him a good pet I know you're not supposed to do the back but this is for the purpose of just showing you how much powder he has give him a good pet give him a nice good pet are you gonna shake hmm? Milo are you gonna shake can you shake for me are you gonna shake so you give him a nice good pet and then you see my hand it's full of powder you see This is what my shirts look like after I pet my low because he has so much powder on him. So much powder that my hands are white. <laughs> but I love him. Okay, well, this is my shirt before. I have this shirt on backwards because it was it's my shirt that I was just wearing. So, just to show you how much dust he has. So, just a second. So, before, wait. All right. So, now I'm gonna give him some snuggle, mm, 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 some snuggle buckles because he's a snuggle buckle bear and he's a buckles and he's a knife buckles. And I'm going to put my hands right there. And I'm going to put my hands over here. Mm, mm, mm. Such a good bird. What a good boy. Hmm? Yes, of course, I've been pet petting him a lot now. Now, I'm just doing this to show you. Um, normally, you don't pet under the wings because that's a no-no zone. But this, he still has some powder left because I was petting him all morning. Um, so chubba 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 hmm oh what a good boy hmm what a good boy such a, such a good boy yes hmm and then you see my shirt after i'm done petting him this is how much dust they lose and this is within 10 seconds <laughs> so and they constantly they constantly producing more powder because it's the it's the wings that break off Parts of the little wings, that's what the powder is, okay? So you see some of the, the feathers right here. This is, his feathers look like this because he's a very heavy swinger on, on, on the top of his cage. So his, his uh, tail gets caught uh, on the upswing, right? So that's, he, he destroys it, but as you can see, it breaks off. Anywho, you can see very dusty bird. <laughs> I hope that illustrates it. A little bit. Hmm, Milo. Huh? Are you a dusty bird? Are you a dusty bird? Yes, you are. <laughs> and in order to keep this dust down, you give your bird a shower if you can every day. You spray him down, give him a good soaking maybe once a week, and um, that should control it a little bit. He gets his showers and still pretty dusty, but you know, it can also be a fun time. I have a video on how to give your bird a shower also. If you like what I do, as always, please uh, subscribe, hit that like button, maybe share, and have a good night, good evening, good morning, whenever you are. Thank you. Bye.